Her stage name is Pura Coco and Coco Vasquez's sound is exactly that. It's pure, it's smooth, it's full of emotion and inspiration. Wake up in the morning with you right by my side. Originally from New York City, local musician Coco Vasquez, known as Pura Coco, moved to Northwest Arkansas at the age of seven. She found instant community through a primarily Latino school and teachers who recognized her talent. And I remember one of our teachers, um, music teacher, she wanted me to perform and she had heard my voice and we were all in choir and I sang, oh, the, well, you done done me and you bet I felt it. That one, or it's like, I felt right through the cracks. And she was like, wow, your voice is just beautiful. From that point on, Coco was surrounded by music, encouraged at home and at her school. As she grew, she also discovered a talent for writing lyrics, sparked by the devastation of a broken heart. I didn't know that I could write music until about eighth grade. Um, I had like my first significant other and it was a whole heartbreak. <laughs> you know the whole deal. I thought it was, I thought it was, you know, so, so sad and I was writing about it and I, I remember I was really getting into rap and I was getting into R&B and I wrote a song and I was like, that's not bad. Coco's songs soon became an outlet to process very personal experiences even beyond heartbreak, like a sexual assault and battling depression. The scars on my legs remind me of better times. I mean, I feel like a lot of my music just comes from what I've been through and what I feel like. Though she's always taking notes and recording on her phone, Coco says she's not in any rush to quickly produce more music. Yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of people have asked, like, when are you coming out with new music? And I'm kind of like, uh, Frank Ocean, where it's just like, okay, I did it, I'm gonna take a break now. I'm about to graduate, um, and I'll be the first out of my whole entire family. And I mean like, cousins, my whole entire family. So it's been, it's been quite a journey. 